Hey, no reason. Guess what? Well, we're on a mission. We're on a mission for firewood. All right, let's walk in here real quick and see what we got going on. This is what's left of our pile. It used to be that high and that deep all the way over here. It's about three quarts. This is what the Dicky Doo stove went through. That old Dicky Doo. <laughs> she eats some wood. So anyway, like I said, we're on a mission. We're on a mission for firewood. So Let's roll. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Home people, let's do something, even if it's wrong. This episode proudly sponsored by Gnome Domes Alaska, a nonprofit workers cooperative manufacturing products that offer affordable and sustainable living solutions. We got a couple of options. Right, take a guess. Take it. We got two options for getting firewood. We got to go out there. We got a trail that goes around inside. Pardon the wind, but we got to go back over there and get some dead spruce and haul back over here. First option. You ready? You ready? Take a guess. Let me know what you think our first option is. Leave it in the comments down in the bottom. You know where. You know where. Down there. Tell them what to do, Donnie. Hey, y'all, right at the beginning of this one, let's subscribe to the channel down below subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up they said they're not going to do it unless you do the uh the uh gnome stutter thing <laughs> that's not what he does <laughs> you're supposed to be uh, uh singing while you do it <laughs> put your comments down on the bottom put your down on the bottom <laughs> anyway all right you ready Ta da first option. All right. The beast. She's been sitting here for a few months. Just getting cold, collecting snow. We've been cleaning her off, but what we got to do is I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm stinking that the snowpack ain't very bad. We can go check it over here on the trail side later, but I'm thinking we're going to try and get this back there. And if it don't work, what do we got to lose? Our other option? Well... It's a little more Manuel. Yeah, option two. Manuel. It ain't bad. It's good exercise. Better than the gym. This is how we've done around the Nobstead the last six years. One sled load at a time. Living the dream. I've worked, walked further. So, yeah. Let's hope this works. All right, what are we gonna do? What do we gotta do? Well, I pulled the battery out yesterday, and uh, I got it on the charger. So I'm going to bring it out here, hook it back up, put the seat back on. We gotta check the Earls, and we'll talk about the Earls because I made some amazing discoveries about Earls here for this little machine. And uh, yeah, let's get that going. And uh, what else we got going? Oh, we had a flat tire over here. And a flat tire. So, we pulled that baby off. And, uh, yeah. Got her filled up and fixed. I was hoping. Yeah, that was good. But what I gotta do, I found out. All this mud got froze on here around the brakes. I'd like brakes. No, we don't need brakes. Because we can only stop the snow. Hey, what the heck? Let's get some mud off the wall right there. Oh, we got the chance. Anyways. All right, I got to get the gloves on, get the fingers moving, because it's getting cold out here. We'll be back. All right, normally nomenclatures. We got a hot cuppa, and we got a mission, like I said. So uh, I'm going to get some stuff together, y'all. 
make sure you get everything I need because it's starting to snow. As per usual when you're working on anything. Get me a tripod set up here. Oh, sorry. Get everything together. Sorry about that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Please stand by one more time. All right. Let's see. Tripod set up. I think we're about ready to go. Right. What else do we need? Okay. Oh, we need to be over there. I'll be back. All right. We got to start with hooking up this battery. Since this thing ain't going to even start, ain't no point in doing much else to it. So, we got the battery. We need to, oh, we got the screws right there. We just need to pop her back in here and hook these back up. At this point, Nomi's, I'm realizing I should have practiced better wire management. the right ones on the right side crossing our fingers uh, need to check the oil but let's see if this is going to turn over first oh wait let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold back. Quick, what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta put the seat back on and get the seat, push the brake on to get this thing to turn over properly. So while we're here, before we do all that, let's check the oil. All right, not looking too bad color-wise. This casting, it's a tiny bit low. So we gotta put a little bit in. And on that note, folks, that brings us to my discoveries on oil. Let's talk about oil, baby. Let's talk about it and the beast. Sorry about that. Anyway, oil. Polaris. If this machine was... Oh, sorry for bumping that. If this machine was new and still under warranty, Polaris requires their oil to be used in this particular engine. Understandable. The beast... She's so far out of warranty. So what I did is I started pricing around Polaris oil. Just say, all right, fine. You guys always use Polaris oil? Let's use Polaris oil. Until I made this major discovery. It's expensive! So I started getting my googly googly going. And I started researching some oils. The reason you Polaris likes you to use their oils is because it's got two main ingredients in it. These, these type of motors need ATV motors, and it's the way the bearings work. Some of you might be able to explain it a little bit better than I do, but all I know is you got to have some special stuff in there for it to work better. And if you don't, well, it could be trouble. So, what were these two things? Phosphate, zinc. So there's actually been some people out there trying to figure this out. If there's any alternates for these high dollar, $22 a quart name brand oils. And guess what they found out? Supertech from Walmart. This stuff has actually higher ratings in the two main ingredients that ATV engines need in it. Tested by laboratories. It's got more of the stuff. Even better. It's a quarter of the money, honey. All right, maybe not a quarter, but this is nine bucks. We had a choice. $22 a quart. Nine bucks a quart. We're going nine bucks a quart. Now that that rant's over, let's get back to it. Plus, my tea's getting cold. All right, Nomi's. We put the seat back on, push the brake pedal, turn the key, nothing. So, one of two things. Our battery, poor little battery there, is dead, 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 never coming back because it is pretty old. 
2015. Hasn't been on trickle charger. Went dead. So we're trying to bring it back to life. If it's not the battery, I messed up on the wires. Somehow, some way, when they fell down there, I messed it up. And not all of them are marked positive or negative. <sighs> so let's do our voltage test first. And I'm almost kind of hoping. See if I can get that staying there. Not to go on there. Let's see what it says. Oh, there we go. One handed. Dun da da. Voltage is fine. We screwed up. Okay. We're going to try for round two here. See what we can do. I'm going to push on the, the brake. Oh, yeah! All right, now we got the seat back on. We got juice. Let's see. Choke pulled out. Let's see if she goes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right, we are just gonna let her warm up a while. Let's see if she. No. If she likes the choke. We're just gonna leave her right there for now. All right, we got tired of it on. And tea to drink because it's getting cold. All right, we got Daniel son on tire duty. Yeah, getting them lug nuts on, and she's running smooth. The choke is turned off. She said, "Winter who?" Yeah, the well, beast said, that "Winter that who?" She doesn't. Well, we're gonna see because it's beast versus snow. All right, give me action. Last one. Alright, drop drop the jack down. Let me have that. Line that up. There you go. See, he's learning. He's te he's learnable. Don't decapitate yourself. By the way, lefty loosey, there you go. And then it just There you go. All right, Daniel, pull that out of the way. It was frozen to the ground. Go sideways. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, we jacked it up and then it's solid. Um, pull the handle out. I think we can clear it. We'll drive right over it. At least go forward and go around it. All right. She's running pretty smooth. Got a little clanky noise coming from the clutch somewhere, but uh, yeah, that actually keeps working. <laughs> it's getting warm. We're going to give her a little bit. The snow cleared off. We may have to scrape that windshield. But let's see if the washers work, or the wipers. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. One thing is, there are no defrosters. So we're going to have to keep the breathing down to a minimum. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to see what this thing's gonna do. <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to show you when I added my cheater knob here. See the old Nomi, his left arm? She no work, it no good to right now. So, turning with two hands on this thing, <laughs> it hurts. So, <laughs> problem solved, baby. Just took a little bit of a knob job. <laughs> the lights. Check. All right, it's alive. We got four, six, yeah, six wheels. Six wheels full of air. We got a jack frozen to the ground. We're gonna avoid that. We're probably gonna go forward and go around it. But that'd be all right. And uh, we got heat going in here, so let's see. We got a clear path. Where are we gonna go? Let's check this out. All right, like I said, we got to get back in over there. There's some dead standing still back in there, and there's some blown over. But uh, we're going to try and get some of the big ones back in there. But to get back there, we got a trail. And it's over here. So we move the toy out of the way. And we got to come down through here. And we got a trail that goes around and weaves and over that way.
But uh, snow ain't that deep. You can sort of see on the platform over there. About six, eight inches of hard back. So, uh, but what we're gonna do before we get stuck back in here, we are, uh, we're gonna take it out here. And we're gonna play in a little bit of deep snow down here. And uh, that way, if she gets stuck in down here, we can pull her out with this. Whereas if she gets stuck back in there, we can't get her out, so. Here we go, let's see what we can do. Well, we cranked that heat up on high and it got actually warm in here. I almost need to take off my hat, but Daniel, go ahead and hold that. Absolutely. We're gonna, uh... <laughs> All right, we're testing out the lights, get the heat going. Let's see, hopefully, low. Let's just start off with everything. All wheel drive, low, reverse. Might be able to come get firewood down here. Hey. Bonus! Try the trail. Here, you hold on to this. I gotta hold on to the wheel. No, really? Let's do.
Well, so much for plan A. We're gonna be a while. <laughs> we'll be back. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Daniel, here's the issue. We got soft, dry. It's like freaking driving through baby powder. Not good. So, she sunk down. So, Daniel san says he's going to get the shovel and we're going to dig a path out because the issue is we got to get it back up there now. It and it's going to snow six inches tonight. And uh, we got the winch on the front. So, Daniel's going to get this back here. And what I'm going to try and do is whip it around here to flip it around. So, at least if I get it pointing that way, we got the winch, huh, Daniel? All right. Ah. Let's do it. All right, just to give you an idea what our issue is, we got a couple different layers of snow going on here. We had our last snow, which was a couple of inches. And then we got that layer of ice. And then we had that real cold snow before that. That's that real powdery stuff that when we broke through, man, it's like trying to drive in freaking uh, talcum powder almost. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Oh, well. We tried. Well, Danny boy is digging away to his little heart's content. Just going to get it between these two wheels right there. Try and back her up a little bit. Yep. Cause how about it, Danny? This stuff down there at the bottom is what, like freaking baby powder? Yeah, I know. It's, it's so dry. It's the latest thing I've ever think of my life. Isn't that fucking weird? And then you get the ice, you're like, well, okay, well, it's hard. Yeah. So, we'll see what we can do. We may have to get at it again tomorrow with the come along or try and get us something in here, but we're going to give her a shot anyway. We ain't, we ain't dead yet, huh? Hell no. So originally I'm thinking I'm going to back in one of these spots and turn around so we can maybe use the winch. But that wasn't working. So, I went back and forth a bunch and got that real soft area packed down. Uh-huh. The side. Screw it. I'm going backwards. Let's go! Oh. Oh! 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 <gasps> Danny boy, your task was to unshovel the beast. You did such a good job, dude. Teamwork makes dream work, buddy, huh? There you go. <laughs> awesome job, buddy. Thank you. Well, no more it took a bit, but we got her out. So far, boy, the old girl, she may not get us there every time, but she sure always gets back out. Alright guys, that was a ton of fun. Tons of fun, but I gotta get some warmed up. I gotta get a fire going, because we've been out here way too many hours. But, uh, hey, hey, there you are. Hey, we got some really cool stuff coming up. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading up to Tepkita for the first annual ice sculpture. We're gonna check some stuff out. We got a buddy of ours that's getting ready to hop out on the train. We're gonna meet up with him and, uh, see what's going on there and why he's getting on the train. So, thanks for stopping by. Until next time. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. I'm a nomi, he's a nomi, she's a nomi, you're a nomi, wouldn't you like to be a nomi? Put your comment down on the bottom. Click the subscribe down on the bottom. Click the like button down on the bottom. I make a comment down on the bottom. Peace out.